Hey, everybody. <sighs> I am stalling as hard as I can. This is Lisa the Joyful, and I really don't want to play this game. This was bought to me, or bought for me, by a friend of mine who I actually played and talked about the last game because of. We both played it and spent a lot of time talking about it. I really respect Lisa as a game. It's a really interesting thing because it absolutely doesn't want you to have a good time. At no point is the game trying to be fun or interesting. It's trying really hard to make you make those decisions. I mean, it lives up to its title, The Painful RPG. And I rage quit that game a couple of times. If you watch my Let's Play of it, you can see. It's pretty embarrassing in hindsight. But the reason I'm here playing this game is because it's October, and so horror games are a must. And this is like two or three hours long, and it provides a lot of resolution to the story that happened in the first game. So, if you are someone who hasn't watched that, please watch the first one first, and then this one. Unless you play that game and you just want to watch this. I don't know. You are your own master. You were warned. I am so not ready for this. Let's go. Oh, hold on. I have to highlight the box. <laughs> All right. Enough stalling. Yep. That's familiar. ding you bastard. You horrible, clever bastard. What the hell? We're still playing as Brad? I don't remember. Okay. We can't turn around or go backwards. Seems to be before the first game has started because we have both of our arms. Spoiler alert. Here's our house. I remember that. Buddy, wake up. Huh? Today's the day. If anything ever happens to me, I need you to be prepared. This won't be easy. What's going on, Brad? What's in the bag? It's a dude. Is he dead? No. Not yet. It's a rough world outside. People are always coming to try and hurt you. So no fancy moves for you. You need to be strong decisive and deadly this will be the most important lesson I can teach you you must become numb able to take a life at a moment's notice I know this will be tough but I promise what what happened where am I what the fuck a girl when it comes to killing a man hey what's going on you must be precise what are you doing Thrust the blade into his throat. No, what the fuck? Drive it in deep. Don't listen to him. Twist. He's fucking crazy. And rip the blade out. Hey. Kill or be killed. Do it now, buddy. My daughter will not be weak. You must be strong. Free yourself. Please. Don't. She did it. Good. Next time, he won't be tied up. Lisa the Joyful. Yeah, this game pulls no punches. We're right back in the thick of it. No need to show off your to yourself. Remember our deal. He's mine from now on. I don't want your little friends getting in the way. Well, I can't make any promises. My methods didn't work at all on all, <laughs> on all of them. That rando fellow, is he okay? Is he still able to protect her? If you're so worried about it, why don't you go protect her yourself? Or are you just too scared? weak old man go take care of your little pet fine 
and listen up. From this point on, we're finished. You don't cross me and I won't cross you. Whatever. If you do get in my way, I'll show you how just how weak I really am. Okay, so this is toward the end of the game. The, the monster Brad. Lisa. Help. Fight. Decisive stab, regular stab. Decisive stab. Do it. Jesus. All right, so... Stand back. Buzzo, get the fuck out of here. I hate this guy so much. I've told you about those pills, and yet you still tempt your curiosity? I. No matter. Brad comes with me. Why are you doing all of this to him? Look at him. Little girl, you're free now. It's not healthy to dwell on the past. Take it from me, otherwise you'll end up a crazy person. You're not going to hurt me? No. I don't want to hurt you. I never did. Thanks, music. Five out of five. Make no mistake. You slip up at all, and this world will tear you apart. Welcome to hell, sunshine. So Buzzo took Brad. So at the end of the game... When you are dying, basically what happens is you get to the end of the, the world and you figure out that Buddy doesn't really want you to come help her. In fact, she really hates you because you've been killing all the people that she cares about uh, through your actions. And so you have this like hyper joy freak out because joy creates monsters. And yeah, so that happened. And then he crawls to you and you can offer, you can give him a hug or not at the end of the game. And then Buzzo shows up and takes him away, I guess. So here we go. Let's see what we've got for equipment. The saber, bandages, dead flower. Oh, I'm level three, or level five, excuse me. Let's go. Is this the right way or the wrong? Oh, I can run? Dude, Buddy is awesome already. He's done. And there's all the people I killed. Well, actually, no. The the general killed all of those people. Buddy can jump up already, so we don't have to worry about that, which is nice. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I assumed it was to the right, but you never really know. I don't want to jump down because I'll hurt myself, so let's go up first. There, can we jump safely under the couch? Nope. There's a door. Let's try that. Nope, all right. Great times. All right, so let's go up. I like it. She's wearing uh, she's wearing Brad's poncho. Oh, darn it! All right, so we have to go back down, go back over here, go back up. There we go. No, I want to I want to go up there. Buddy is waking up. Oh, is I still sleepy? All right, I don't think I can get back that way because there's no way to get up there. 
All right, so let's go back the other way. Should actually probably load my save file. This game is really punishing, but I'm gonna try without it. Okay, there's that. Let's go this way. It's a pile of red skull masks. All the, the guys from the Red Skull Army, I guess. Yeah, this is much more promising as a direction to go. All right. Running and leaping. Yep, I know how to do this. If you get older, this becomes much tougher. everybody. Jesus, there's lots of people here. Amazing buddy. I often wondered what's more likely, seeing your pretty little face or paying off my home loan. Ah, uh, see friends, it pays to wait. Like daddy used to say, when it comes to a king's buffet, there's no shame in eating table scraps. Especially when the scraps are this tasty. Okay, enough goofing. Grab that pristine meat. Stop. Dude, it's the general. Please. He's the fearsome rando. Like Daddy always used to say, you're only as good as your worst day. Let me tell you, you're having a bad day, big boy. He's right. I can't do this. You need to run. Not so fast. This is Bolo's world now. Nothing will stop the conquest of a golden opportunist. Oh my. Go now. Are you okay? Of course. Did Brad do this to you? Don't worry. I'm fine. Hey, don't be mad at him. He just wanted to protect. Please, I've heard that enough. Sticky told me about you. Ah, Sticky. He didn't hurt you, did he? I put a lot of trust in him. No, he never hurt me. He just told me lots of stories. And he cried a lot. But he never touched me. That's awesome. That makes me really happy. Because there were some really nasty implications in the last game. It's that beast. We need to go. I'm still pretty weak. I need help from front some friends. Buddy. Yes? I know we just met. But I want peace. I want growth. I'm sick of seeing blood. You understand that without women, all humans will die out? I know. Good. I want to fix this world. And only you can do it. But you'll need help. I need you to trust me on this. Trust him? I don't really trust him. I mean, he did turn out to be an okay guy in the last game, but should Buddy trust him? Fine. I trust you. Rando is in control. Also wanted to give you something. Got some Rando rations. And this. A red skull mask. It will keep you safer, I hope. Land child locked at a ginormous achievement. Huh. So Rando... I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I guess I made my choice. Can I run? I cannot run anymore, can I? Nope. Big guy's slow. It's 
Fucking hell. That was tough. Uh oh. Boss? Look. The fuck do you want now? Oh, holy shit, what the fuck? Rando. And a little fucking rando? <laughs> Let me through. I don't want any trouble. Your voice. No wonder this boy never speaks. Please, let us go through. Think I'm fucking stupid? We ain't overlooking that little rando on your shoulders. Quit fooling. It's the girl fella's game. Let's see. Um, Paul Swayze. All these people. Let's do, let's get the boss guy first. Dude, he uses Armstrong style because he learned from Brad. That makes perfect sense. Um, what do I got? Do I got... I don't know how to do any of these. Cool. Jeez, she's getting her crap kicked out. Alright. Crap! Alright, whatever. Um, you're up next. Yeah! Wawa is machine gun fist. Dude, Rando's crazy tough. items to resurrect me. I think those rations will. Oh, I can do five now. Alright, um... Items? I don't know if this will put her back to normal or not. It will not. Great. Alright. Having Buddy be KO'd is not a big deal. But I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. Rando goes dot dot dot. Please, Buddy, be careful. Although I have to ask. Where did you learn to fight? From Brad. He taught me to defend myself. What? He never showed me anything like that. Let's keep moving. We're almost there. Rando, stop bleeding. That's generally a good thing. <laughs> Having Buddy be fainted is pretty crappy. We need a place to rest to get her back. What is this? This is the border between Eastern and Western Olaith. It's called the List. These people run Olaith in order from top to bottom. They rule territories in Olaith. What about you? I don't see your name. Me and my army are left alone. Well, worry, we were. I guess times have changed. Now that you're here... Buddy, are you okay? Yes, sorry. Let's keep going. I'm gonna use my time honor my time honored uh, cheat for this game. If you'll just hold on one second. Da -da -da -da. 
What up? Oh, crap. It doesn't work anymore. See, it used to be that if you restarted the game, you would get full health back. Which is unfair in a game as hard as this. So I guess I'm glad they fixed it, but it also means that Buddy's still fainted. Oh yeah, the army base. Is it her? Who's there? Hey. Whoa, somebody got hit. Many days later. I don't think we should tell him. No, we have to. It would crush him. It's better if he doesn't know. It doesn't matter. He needs to know. He's going to be furious. This isn't a game. We're trying to save the world. Keeping secrets isn't going to help anything. Whether it hurts him or not, he has the right to know. Now wake him up. All right, fine. Rando. Rando. Wake up. Ah. Thank God, finally. What happened to you? Somebody really messed you up. Buddy. How is she? Well, she sure is a firecracker. Very tough girl, which is good. But we had to knock her up and tie her out. Tie her out? Knock her up and tie her out? Oh, God, Ben. What are you doing? Get your life together. All right. What? You can't do that to her. What kind of message does that send? Rando, she was struggling so much. She was so violent. She is not a prisoner. She is our future, not a slave. That's not all. Dale is dead. We killed him. What? Well, she was tied up, he... Well, obviously it isn't any serious, but he... Hey, don't move. You're seriously hurt. Your wounds are still bleeding. Out of my way. Rando, stop. We'll fix this. Please, just try to rest. We need you to be healthy. You know that. Rando, please. Rando? Hello? He passed out. Oh, man. Let's let him rest. For now, we have to try to fix things with the girl. This is painful. <laughs> Crawling. Ugh. Rando. Thank God you're okay. They're dead. Of course they are. The fat one managed to get away. Did they do anything to you? Hurt you? They tied me up and locked me in this room. That's all? I told you. This is all people want to do to me. I hate it. I refuse to be locked up like this. Did you know these men? Your friends that you talked about? No. I don't know these people. Let's not worry about my friends anymore. We just need to worry about you now. I'm glad they didn't hurt you. Yeah. But you're still in bad shape. We can rest until you're better. Then we need to get to work. What work? Just rest now. Because soon, they will all know what they're, who they're messing with. Okay, so this is um, Rando when he was a little kid. Ready to play? You ready to go? Buddy, what are we doing? I'm through playing games. That list, I know what I must do. I'm strong, I'm not afraid, and I am one of a kind. I want to rule Olaith. What? I want my name to be at the top of that list. 
everyone must fear me. But look, look at what's happened. Your face, the scars on your body. Doing this will only get you hurt worse, or killed. And living in someone's cage is better? This isn't pain. My body, I don't feel anything. It's my head, my heart, that's what hurts. And this is what I want. No, you are the future. We can't risk it. You're acting crazy. Rando, you're starting to remind me of a lot of people. People that have been killed by me, or around me. Buddy, you can either sit back and watch me do it, or you can join me. But you will not stop me. What happened to you? Are you in or out? Rando joined. She is still fainted, despite all of her tough talk. Buddy, are you positive about this? Will you stop? I put my trust in you, and you got us ambushed. No, it's my turn. You need to start trusting me. Okay, if you want to rest, you can safely. I will watch over you. No need to worry. Good to go. All right. Uh, with that, this is a perfect stopping point. So I am going to end right here. And I'll check back with you guys for the next episode. There's some intense stuff going on. Buddy is pretty mad and very deservedly so. This world has treated her like crap. And I'm really excited to see how she takes her revenge. Although I will admit I'm curious to see what happens if you don't trust Rando. Hopefully, probably something worse. This game is terrible. All right. Off we go. Bye.